I have been dying to talk to you all day, and here is why. I spoke to you pre-debate, and you told me Biden would not be the nominee. You've been saying it over and over and over. Post-debate, post I suspect you still believe that, but tell me how it plays out. Look, I think that the reality is the managerial class around Biden has lost their use for him. This has been obvious to me since last year. Play out the incentives. He is not the strongest candidate they can put up. And these people, they have stopped at nothing to keep Donald J. Trump out of office. You think they're going to stop at this step? I think it's actually one different game they're playing, Kaylee, is they want this to happen as late as possible into the cycle. They want it to be in the honeymoon phase of a new candidate. Initially, you get that honeymoon phase before the scrutiny comes. If that swap out comes in August or even after August, they get to put up a candidate who will not yet have had the scrutiny, keep Republicans guessing. And that's, I think, the game that's actually going on here. And the reality is, I think there's only two viable choices, really, if you think about it. The Democratic Party is wedded to identity politics. The only reason Kamala Harris got that job, frankly, is because she was a black woman. Don't take my words, take it from the words of the Democratic Party itself, which leaves Kamala Harris or Michelle Obama. That's where I predict this plot ends, and I don't think it's going to happen particularly soon. I think it's in their incentive to wait as long as possible, and that's exactly where I think the game goes from here. Interesting. So August, and you name two individuals. In the meantime, we need to know what's going on with our country. Troops have died overseas. That phone does ring at 3 a.m., and I don't know that Biden's answering, and we need answers. Do you believe that Congress should use their oversight authority to subpoena whomever they can? I don't know if they can do this with current administration. They can certainly do it with former administration officials. Should there be congressional subpoenas to see if KJP is correct that nothing has been hidden from us? Look, I think we should use every toolkit in our arsenal right now. Every leader in Washington, D.C. has a heightened obligation now more than ever because we have a president of the United States who is absent. Forget the election this year, even aside from the election. Just speaking as an American, Kaylee, Americans deserve an answer to the question of who is actually running the country. It is clear after that abysmal debate performance, it isn't Biden. But that's a worrisome concern at a moment when we are facing some of the greatest risks we have faced in a generation right here in our own homeland. Yes, are there parallels to LBJ in 68? Of course there are. There was a war that we shouldn't have been in, in an era of global instability. You see that in some cases in multiple times over, not only around the world, but in the risks we face right here at home. Now is not a moment for us to have a commander in chief whose seat is functionally vacant. And so should congressmen or anybody else in D.C. doing everything in their power to secure our country in this time of absence at the top? Absolutely is the answer. Well, we have some breaking new reporting coming up about who is running the country. They have a new White House aide. You will not believe who it is. Thank you very much, Vivek.